I never thought this day would come that I would do a video on deactivating or deleting a social media account, but that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. And you're going to find out how you can deactivate or delete your Facebook account. So stay tuned. Hey everyone. If we haven't met yet, my name is Audrey with social media for that's the number for beginners.com where I am on a mission to teach the older generation how to use all the different social media sites and all this new technology so that they can stay connected to family and friends. So we are just going to jump right in and I'm going to show you how you can either deactivate or delete your Facebook account, what each one of those means. And if this video helps you in any way, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with others that you may know that are thinking about jumping off of the Facebook ship. And as always, be sure to hit the little subscribe button along with the bell button so that you're notified every time that I put out one of these videos. So let's just jump right in and get that account deactivated or deleted. All right, so here we are on the home page. And in order to uh, get that account deleted or deactivated, you'll want to uh, click on this down arrow up at the top and then choose settings and privacy, then settings, and you'll come to your general account settings. Over here to the left, click on your Facebook information. Right here where it says deactivation and deletion, click on view. Now, if you want to just deactivate your account, you can do so. And what it will do is it just um, your account will be disabled and your name and photos will be removed from most things that you've shared. But you'll be able to continue to use the messenger. And so it's kind of like just taking a break away from Facebook. OK, so you can do that. Deactivate the account and then come back whenever you want to. Or if you want to delete your account, you're going to simply choose delete account, continue to account deletion. Now, if you choose to just deactivate your account, you can still use the messenger, as I said, but it does not delete your account completely off of Facebook. You would actually need to click on this delete account. But before you do that, be sure that you download all of your information. And I actually did a video that showed you how to download your photos and videos. You can view it right here. I believe it's right here or here. It'll be up on the screen and in the description below this video. Be sure to do that because once you delete your account, you're not able to go back in there. And I would hate for you to um, lose all of those memories. OK, so we're going to click on delete account, assuming that we've downloaded everything. Now you are going to need your password. So before you even do this, uh, make sure that you have your password readily available to you for your Facebook account. So I'm going to put that password in here and then click continue. So you're going to confirm your permanent account deletion. It's going to take 30 days for your account to be completely deleted off of Facebook. If it's 29 days and you log back into this account, then it recreates it like you're now. I believe you have like another 30 days that you have to wait for the complete um, removal of your account. So as long as you do not log back into your account, it will be permanently deleted within 30 days. However, you are within those 30 days still able to log in and basically stop the stop the deletion or whatever. So just know that. Finally, we're just going to click on delete account and your account is scheduled for a permanent deletion. If you do run into any problems or have any questions, as always, you guys leave a comment in the comment section below. And until next video, y'all be blessed. Bye.